Hey everybody, this is Rob with the Trucking Resources Channel. Today I want to talk to you about, well you saw the title, is the 379X going to be replaced by an automatic Volvo? Uh, the answer is not right now, so I'll tell you that up front. Um, but I want to explain some things to you. I So I bought this truck a number of years ago, if you see my other videos you know I bought it uh, from a company owned it since brand new here uh, locally, uh, Crow Transportation and at the time they were getting rid of their fleet of Peterbilts to upgrade to, uh, they were getting internationals, they have different ones uh, they have some Lone Stars, uh, uh, they have a lot of LTs um, uh, yeah, a couple different models, trucks but their main reason was they, they were an all Peterbilt company and their main reason was basically fuel mileage they had to keep up with the times and fuel mileage is where it's at. I know of a couple other companies that have done it and the question is you know are you getting out of you know the real old school trucking and I guess in some ways yes uh, it, it's I, I will run the numbers here for you and it's it's basically it's smart business uh, when you look at the amount of money you could save on fuel uh, as compared to what you're put just what you're putting in these trucks you could buy some of these trucks and have them as show trucks so actually that's my plan and always has been my plan uh, I've said before when I bought the the 379 X uh, came available it was my dream truck years ago and I got it and I love it I really love it but if you see my videos you'll see that it averages six miles to the gallon which is actually pretty good for that truck um, you know, a cat, it's a standard, uh, it's a C15 cat, uh, you know, of course we have it tuned up a bit, but uh, C15 cat, 18 speed transmission, 355 rears, that was a, a great setup at one point, but now the way things are, it's, it's just not the great setup anymore. But my plan is, and always has been, to retire that truck someday, and restore it, and have it as a show truck, maybe take it out on a trip now and then for fun, but... If I'm looking at business overall, just blowing money out of exhaust pipes and fuel, uh, it, it's not the way to, to go. And I, I'm going to use some examples of companies here, uh, Crow being one of them. Uh, you know, like I said, Crow wanted to, you know, newer technology, better fuel. Uh, I have a couple other people that I want to talk about here. And uh, yeah, I will get to them. So, what are the good fuel mileage trucks right now? Well, we don't know. In my opinion, I'm going to get a lot of slack for this. Uh, in my opinion, and what I've studied up on, Volvo is leading the way right now in fuel mileage. That doesn't mean much, because I believe that Cummins is right behind them. Um, uh, Packard, I've heard, is right behind them. Detroit is right behind them. Uh, but right now, Volvo is really leading the pack right now with, uh, with boasting 10 miles to the gallon trucks. And I can actually prove it here. One of the people I want to talk about here is my friend Gene. Uh, he's a fellow Landstar driver. Him and his wife Libby, they own, uh, they own a few trucks. I forget how many they own. Uh, I know they now are all Volvos. Uh, but he is getting rid of his Peterbilt. And his Peterbilt is actually a 386 Peterbilt. Um... And it gets, uh, I think he said 5.6 miles to the gallon. And he just replaced it with a brand new Volvo. Now, out of his brand new Volvo, he has, uh, he only has about 2,000 miles on it. So I should have wrote this down. But he only has about 2,000 miles on it. And in his first 2,000 miles, uh, it's actually 2,694 miles. He has gotten 9.18 miles per gallon out of it. Now, remember, this is a new truck. It's actually a new setup. These Volvos are, are so different now. I mean, they they run down the road at 900 RPMs, and, and the transmissions are different than they've ever been. Uh, I really think that as this truck gets broken in and he gets used to driving, and I did ask him about that. He said it's taken a little bit of getting used to, you know, driving it as opposed to traditional trucks. But he is already boasting fuel mileage like that. And he's going to get 10. He's going to get well over 10. I know he is. He's a, he's a real fuel mileage guy. He's all about it. The other company I want to talk about is Keller Weber. Uh, I met the owners of Keller Weber a while back. 
uh, brothers Doug and, and Kevin Weber and they had a, a beautiful fleet of W900s I'm pretty sure that's all they had at the time and not too long after I met them uh, they bought their first Volvo mainly for fuel mileage maneuverability they do a lot of the work that they do they wanted better maneuverability uh, but they did get the big, I believe their first one was a 780, I think now they're called 860s. But you know, the same ones, the the big sleepers. Um, over the years, I I got to know them fairly well. Uh, fortunately, I didn't get to know Kevin as well as Doug. Uh, Kevin, unfortunately, passed away at the age of 57 uh, back in 2017, which uh, I was super sad, uh, you know, especially for his brother Doug, I know. Doug lost his brother and his business partner. Uh, but Doug was able to keep the business going pretty good. And they've slowly replaced their W900 with Volvos. They do have uh, they do have a couple W900s. One his son drives. Uh, the other one he kept as his truck so he could use. But I think he does have a driver in it now. Uh, but he also has, I believe, five Volvos. He might have six. I should have asked him that. Uh, but I'm going to go into right here, me uh, showing you what, uh, you know, two of his trucks, his, his W900 and his Volvo. Alright, so I'm here in Landisville at my buddy uh, Doug Weber's company, uh, called Keller Weber. And Doug came from, uh, Keller Weber was started by, uh, by Doug and, and Kevin Weber. And they had all W900s. Uh, they still have two, his son drives one of them, and Doug drives this sometime, has a driver in it. Uh, but a number of years ago, they started replacing their fleet and going to Volvo. Why? They still like the large cars, but Volvo, it's all about the fuel mileage. Uh, this, I believe he said, is the newest one. No, it's not. He has a few. I'll show you the rest of them are up over there. But... So he switched to Volvo, and, and the fuel mileage change was incredible. And it's really just being smart about business and, and making the money. Not to mention, when you compare the trucks, you know, as far as comfort level, it's not like you're giving up comfort level. If anything, you're adding to it. I mean, you got the, you know, 78-inch sleeper, or 77. The screen just went off. Yep. Oh. It will. Okay. <laughs> yep, it's got a 77-inch sleeper and, you know, condo. And, you know, as opposed to now, this is a little little sleeper in Kenworth, but he also has his other one is a 72. But, yeah, that's... uh. You know, it's not even like you're giving up comfort for it. Uh, you might be giving up some cool factor, but they're really pretty good looking trucks. Uh, by the way, I wanted to say, Doug asked me to wait until his trucks were clean to do this, and I said no, because it's December in Pennsylvania and it's near impossible. I can tell you this is a beautiful truck when it's clean. Uh, I'll have to see if I can get a picture of his other Kenworth too that, that his son Nick's driving it. And uh, that one's pretty nice too. All right, so yeah, this is actually Doug's newest truck, uh, or Keller Weber's newest truck. Uh, the newest one in the company. Uh, he said it also gets the best fuel mileage, as obviously, you know, the technology changes. And this one is clean, which as you know, again, December, Pennsylvania, that's hard to do. But yeah, nicely specced. Uh, doesn't have all the crazy stuff for fuel mileage, but it still gets great fuel mileage. So there you have those. At the end of the day, they're actually both pretty nice looking trucks, but one of them gets an incredibly better fuel mileage. Um, now let me go over a couple numbers here now that I've, I've showed you some of these trucks um, you know and talked about these trucking companies so if you do 120,000 miles a year so you average 120,000 miles a year pretty pretty easy math here six miles per gallon is 20,000 gallons if you do an average of four dollars per gallon which I think is about what it is across the country right now uh, It'll cost you eighty thousand dollars a year. Okay, more simple math. Same hundred twenty thousand miles. If you're getting ten miles per gallon, 
you're, you're using 12,000 gallons. That's an 8,000 gallon savings. At $4 per gallon is $48,000. That's a difference of $32,000 that one truck. Actually, that breaks down to $2,666 per month you would save with that truck alone in the same, the same amount of time. Here's another one for you. On my last video, I, I took three trips in a row, said what I made, how much fuel I used. In that, at the end of the week, I used 257.83 gallons of fuel. It added up to $1,051.95. Okay, now if I had been getting 10 miles to the gallon, I would have gotten 154, I would have used 154.7 gallons. The cost of that would have been $631.18 difference of $420.77 in one week okay the other thing is at the end I said after my fuel and everything what I'd made that week was $1.78 if I was getting 10 miles a gallon it would have been 205 per mile when you start looking at some of them numbers it is it's pretty substantial and this is why I'm looking at at you know the possibility of upgrading it. Now, I, I've been talking about Volvos. That's what a lot of guys are doing. But a lot of guys are doing other things too. Uh, like I said, Crow's doing the internationals. Uh, I probably wouldn't go that route. Um, I am. I, I really do love the new Ultraloft uh, 579 Peterbilts. Uh, in fact, I'll show you a couple right here. I'm sure this guy loves me taking video of his dirty truck, but eh, it's winter time. It's to be expected. But look at that thing I mean that's the ultra loft 80 inch sleeper you know very nice looking truck and made for fuel mileage hold on here let's wait it's raining now I'm sitting in the truck but still look it has the the wheel covers the full flow below you know I, I don't love wheel covers but you know everything that helps the flow below is supposed to help incredibly This next one I'm showing you is uh, it was parked there, and again, dirty lot. I, I hate to <laughs> hate to do that, but uh, people now understand it's you know December in Pennsylvania. Uh, you know trucks are a bit dirty, but they're both beautiful trucks. I love them Ultra Loft Peterbilt. Uh, I do like the new Kenworth, the the six. Uh, I don't know what they're calling them now. Are they they still calling them six eighties. Uh, they change numbers so much. I, I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of trucks out there, and. and I'm just letting you guys know where I'm going uh, in the future. I will still have the large car. It's uh, it's not going anywhere. I got no plan on that truck to ever go anywhere. I'd like to still keep it around. Um, I used to work for a guy who had new trucks, and uh, but he still had an old B model Mac that he drove around. He loved it. He'd go make some local pickups with it and uh, things like that. So I have dreams of that someday. Look, if you want to stay running your large cars, you know, big hoods, I don't hate you for it. I don't tell other people how to run business, run their business. I just wanted to show you why when you see, I've seen it over the years, different companies. I'm like, oh, man, why are they going that route? You know, class one, uh, class one transfer, oh, you know, big, beautiful W900s. And now you see a lot of, you know, you switched over to a lot of 660s a few years ago. And I'm not sure what all they're running now, but fuel mileage is really where it's at and you can make these trucks you can really make these trucks look good so we'll see what the future holds but this is just something i wanted to put out there uh, especially if somebody's looking to maybe buy a new truck and wondering which way they're going to go uh you know where they're looking to uh you know even become a new owner operator uh, i can tell you i'm pretty sure that that my company will not have any more large cars uh, if we add any more trucks, I'm pretty sure they'll be a bit more aerodynamic, uh, a little bit better on fuel. But I still love the large cars, and I'm going to keep posting pictures of them. I'm going to keep doing videos, you know, when truck shows come back around. Uh, this isn't an anti-large car video. It's just a, a video about how to look at business a little bit different. And, and, you know, maybe this is the smart way to go. I, I've seen a lot of guys do it. When a lot of guys are doing it, it's uh, at least time to start studying up and, and seeing if what they do makes sense. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, stand by for some more.